Hello guys and welcome back. So now we're gonna talk about creating the mask that helps us dissolve or uh, blend between these two versions. And the idea is we're going to use um, uh, a ramp that travels along a specific direction that we want to specify. And to do that, we're going to create a point in 3D and then compute the distance of each of these points compared um, from that position that we're going to specify and then use the that length information to create the ramp that we need and so the first thing I'm going to do is add use uh, the add node to create a point and in this case we're going to place it somewhere and let me check something so I'm going to place it here and we're going to take each of these points Actually, let me look at the points without um, the textures. So we're going to compute the distance from each of these points um, against this one here. And to do that, we're going to create a point vault. We're going to plug the points. I'm going to reduce the number so it's uh, faster to work with. And I'm going to dive inside. And what we need is we need to subtract we need to subtract the current position from that position, from the position that we specified. So I'm going to connect P and then promote this attribute. And if we go up, we need to change it to a, um, a vector. And if we go up, we can simply copy this value here and uh, link it. So whenever we, we move this point, uh, this point, it will update here and we'll get the proper value. And then we're going to simply compute the length of this and then connect it to the color of the result. So you can see right now it's full all white. And if we go spreadsheet and look at the one of the red or green or blue values, you can see that it goes from zero to almost five. And I'm going to dive inside and I'm going to use a fit range node to remap this. So instead of going from zero to one, I'm gonna say uh, zero to six, just to add a little bit more padding. And you can see already that we have some kind of um, gradient going. And I'm going to flip it uh, so we can see it better. I wanted to start black here and on white here. And you can see now we have some kind of uh, ramp that starts white at the bottom and black at the top. And if we go up and increase the number of points, we should be able to see the gradient better. And now, if we take this and put um, plug it through a ramp, we should be able to control this ramp here uh, the way we want. You can see by doing that, we will be able to have something that travels through the character, uh, the, the geo that we have here. And we can simply animate that to use to blend between uh, the two textures. But I don't want this. I don't like this straight line here. I don't like the transition that we have. I would like to break this up and add a little bit more noise. And it's actually super easy to add that. So we're going to dive inside and we're going to add noise to the point position instead of using the real value from the points. Let me change the background. We're going to. Uh, we're going to add noise to these points just in in the VOP and that will cause it to, to distort. And so I'm going to put down an add and we're going to create a noise. Turbulent noise will be fine. I'm going to connect P and simply add that. And we're going to leave it at, that, the, at this type. Let me expose a few controls here so we can tweak it. And now you can see already that it ha it's bro the edge is broken up. And if we animate this, you can see that it's traveling through uh, the character. And we can do this to make uh, a harsh line. And I'm going to change the noise value a little bit to make it uh, smaller. And I'm going to change the attenuation. 2.2 to match the example I had. Cool. So you can see now we have uh, this ramp going. And 
if we simply take uh, these values, if we take these two colors here and animate them, we will be able to isolate the, the areas that we need. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to have the colors start at this point here. I'm going to select this point, select this point and animate both of them and then go to frame 120 and move them all the way here. And set a keyframe for both of them. And now if I play through, you can see we have the grade, uh, the, the ramp uh, moving. And now we can use a blast node and say anything that is uh, that has a color higher than 0 0.1 deleted. I'm going to set it to points. And then we want the inverse of that. So delete non selected. And if we merge both of them, we will still have all the points, but now we have split split them. So this area we can use to uh, sample the UV coordinate of uh, um, the gold version and this one in for the muddy version, for example, to be the base. So I'm going to uh, disconnect this and move it in here and then disconnect this and move it in this version. So you can see now we have the reveal of the mud version and if we connect both of them you can see that we have the dissolve happening but this is not uh, this is not exactly what I want I don't want this to be a raw uh, one to one actually let me play bless this so we can see it better I don't want the transition to be uh, uh, just between two va two specific versions, I want to add the particle to help blend between the two the two versions. And whenever something disappears from here, I want it to convert into particles and fall down uh, like the original version I showed. And we can see that the effect is is working. This is the original one, and we're going to add the extra pop sim in the next video. But let me play blast this so we can see it. You can see how the reveal is working and it's actually super easy to change it because of that point position that, that we added. We can simply move it uh, to anywhere we want and that will make the direction of the dissolve go towards that point. And we only have to remap the values because uh, it's based on the distance of how far that point is from all these points. And let me play this. So you can see how it's working. Cool. So now we're going to add the dissolve, uh, the extra layer using pops that will help blend in between these different um, uh, versions. And I think that's pretty much it uh, for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.